Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today we're putting together a milk bath look, but instead of flowers, we're gonna be using glitter. So let's get started! As always, we're starting off with our natural nails, and I've already applied the tips on my nails. And using my nail clippers, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down to make them as long as I need them to be. After that is done, I'm gonna take my nail file and I'm going to shape the nails into a more like a coffin shaped look. Then I'm going to be applying a layer of base coat to all of the nails. I'm going to be curing the base coat in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. And it's finally time to use the poly gel. So for today I'm using this poly gel called Wild Mood from Christian Artesio and as you can see it's a pretty good consistency, it's pretty thick and I really like the color as well so I'm going to straight uh, away deposit some of it onto the natural nail and using my brush I'm going to start shaping it into place I'm going to be repeating the exact same process for all of the nails and as you can see while I'm shaping them I want them to be pretty thin today I don't want them to be bulky at all because we're going to build some more um, on top of it with the milk bath color that we're going to be using to cover the glitter Of course, if you're not very familiar with building a nail, you can go ahead and use dual forms for this step or you can use your own full cover tips um, that are already shaped and uh, long so you don't have to go through the process of building a poly gel nail but I hope that the little clips that I show you of how I'm building them can help you learn how to put them together easier and make the shape look nice. After we've cured all the nails, I'm gonna go ahead and use my slip solution and a cotton pad to just take off the sticky layer of the poly gel so I can start filing everything into shape. And we're going straight into filing. I'm just filing the sides and buffing the surface of the natural nail so we can easily apply color on top. So this is what the nails look like after I've buffed them and after I've shaped them and filed them into place. And for today's video, I got these new sequin glitters from a nearby nail art store. And they're so, so beautiful and I loved all of the colors. But I wanted to go for a more summery look, so I decided to go with those sequins that are blue, gold, and green. But before we start adding the sequins onto the nail, I decided to add a layer of transfer foil gel. And my idea was that it's sticky so I could easily deposit the glitter exactly where I wanted it without it moving or running off the sidewalls of the nail. I also decided to deposit a small amount onto my painting dish and this will be a lot easier to catch the glitter and manage it and with my wax pen i just started taking small little sequins and just placing them all over the nail to make a fade kind of design not exactly since the glitter is opaque but kind of a more concentrated look on the bottom and then less glitter on the top and i also went ahead and i pressed it down with my finger after i was done placing them so i can smooth them out As you can see, for the middle finger, I decided to do the ombre type uh, look upside down and concentrate the more amount of glitter on the top half of the nail. The 
The way that you place your glitter can really be random, it really doesn't matter how you deposit it onto the nail, as long as you're happy with the colors that you have chosen and the pattern you have followed, it's going to look great. I also decided to take some of this light, very thin blue glitter, just to add a little bit of dimension in between the bigger flakes. This glitter also really reminded me of the sea and I just wanted to replicate it in this look so I thought that it would be a great addition. Next, I'm going to take my Vanalisa white gel and I'm going to apply a small amount of it onto my painting dish. And along with that, I'm going to also use a base coat to make the color more translucent and create the milk bath effect. As you might remember in my previous video, I had used poly gel to achieve this look, but for today I thought that it would be a lot simpler to use a base coat and show you guys another technique on how you can achieve this kind of look. And then with the same brush that I mixed the gel with, I'm going to deposit a small amount onto the nail. I'm going to make sure that I rub it in well. I don't want this to be too opaque in the beginning, I want it to be as translucent as possible so you can see the glitter through and I'm also going to let it sit, I have not cured these two nails yet and this will help the glitter shine through and uh, give it a bit of a texture. After repeating the process on all of the nails, I'm gonna go in with a second coat and as you can see I'm concentrating it mainly in the middle of the nail and I'm leaving a few millimeters from the lower part of the nail so that the glitter shines through uh, very visibly. Once again, I'm going to repeat this process on all of the nails. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with another last and third layer and this will help make the white color more intense in some areas and just give it that milk bath effect that we're going after. After curing all of the nails I'm going to once again remove the sticky layer on top with a bit of slip solution and a cotton pad and this will help me proceed on to the next step where I will start buffing the surface of the nail and this will allow me to help some of the glitter to shine through and continue being uh, shiny and glittery and this will kind of make it seem like it's floating on the top of the milk water <laughs> I hope that makes sense um, for the next step we're gonna go ahead and use these beautiful little charms some caviar beads and rhinestones to put uh, together a summery look and as always, I'm going to be using my Vanalisa nail glue to hold all of these little elements down. You can build this up however you like. I just thought that it would look very nice to add a bigger charm and then a few smaller decorations around it. And I especially like the colors of the caviar beads, they really remind me of the sea. So I just thought I would add them in this, this sort of way. Yeah. 
And now it's finally time to add a top coat. I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Sober Top Coat and applying it to all of the nails, making sure that they're well covered and very, very shiny. And I also got a new cuticle oil from this great company called N&M and, and it's got a mango uh, scent, it smells really really nice, it's very moisturizing and I thought I would share it with you guys. And here's the reveal! I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I had so much fun putting it together. I've been seeing a similar trend on Instagram and I wanted to give it a try and I hope I made it in a way that's easy for you guys to follow. Please leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought and subscribe for more videos every single Tuesday. And leave me suggestions for future videos, I'm going to have more subscribers draw my nails videos coming soon. So with that being said, I will see you guys next week. Have a great week, bye!